today we're gonna start with a gravy mixture. I added two cans of the green beans and then I have a large can of the cream of mushroom soup. Now this recipe doesn't usually call for a gravy, but today I'm going to kick it up a little bit and I'm gonna add my own spin to it like I usually do. And I'm going to mix this with the green beans, get it all stirred in. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion, and I'm gonna add a little bouillon packet because I'm making the chicken apple sausage to go with our ingredients to make our gravy. It's gonna be so good, so tasty. And then next I'm gonna add the teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna add my um, steak chop. And this has a lot of spices, a little bacon twist in there, and that'll make that gravy really tasty. And I already measured that out. We're gonna do that. We're gonna add that and then I'm gonna stir that up, get all that incorporated. And I keep those little packets. I don't know if you do, if you use the soup and they're kind of good. You can make other soups with it or like this, add it to your gravy. And I'm going to use the cream of mushroom today because that's what I had on hand. You could do chicken. And I'm gonna add a cup of water. I'm not going to use milk with that because I don't really want a milky gravy. So I'm just gonna use a cup of cold water, mix that in, get it all incorporated. And it already smells so delicious, I love that. And I'm also going to add a whole small little onion, red onion. I'm gonna dump that in. And I don't know about you, but today I had a really strong onion and I was chopping and I was crying. Do you cry when well, you chop? <laughs> I, I don't like to chop onions, I always cry. I know. So I thought, well, I'll do it off camera and I won't be crying on camera. So that is a one, I'd say a medium size onion. Stir all that in. And look at that already, you can smell that. It's so delicious. And also what I did, I went ahead and pre-cut half of my little potatoes. I have the red and the white. And I used a half a bag. This is a big five pound bag. So I think we're gonna use a half. We love our potatoes, like a little leftover. And I'm gonna put that in slowly so it doesn't get all over us. And one thing great about a crock pot, you can just leave it, go, go on about your day. And I have a busy day today, so I think this is gonna be great. So I'm gonna stir this and incorporate this together and get all that goodness. It's gonna cook down and hopefully that'll just turn into the best gravy for our dish. I can already smell it. It smells so good. I'm using the chicken apple sausage today. It's smoked and this is delicious. Uh, it kind of gives it a fall taste and it just, I don't know, invokes a lot of great memories of fall. And I love this dish. My mom, my grandma used to make it. And, but today I'm putting up my own spin. I'm gonna use a chicken apple and it's gonna be so delicious. I went ahead and I pre-cut them and I'm just gonna put that in there. So when you bite into it, you're gonna get that apple smoky flavor. Boy, I can smell that smoky flavor. That and smells good. I used eight links. And this, let me show you once again. This has got five in here, but I opened up two, but I thought eight, because we have a group coming and everybody loves their sausage, right? This is good just for a game night, people coming over be good for a potluck too. And just kind of mix that all together. And I'm just gonna get that off the bottom, even though it's gonna cook down, but I want everything to get a, get covered with the mushroom soup that's gonna hopefully turn into a gravy. And we're just, oh, it smells really good. I mean, it really does. And we're gonna do that and get that all covered up. One more off the bottom. Here we go. Oh, wow. If you could smell this, look at that. Just look at that goodness right there. We're gonna cover this up 
And we're gonna cook this for about three hours in our crock pot. And I'm gonna start it on high. You can always check, stir it a little bit, but I think that'll be good. It's gonna cook down, it's gonna be so delicious. And let's check this in three hours. Okay, let's check out our sausage, potato, green bean, and gravy. Oh, crock pot deliciousness. Look at this. Oh, it smells so good oh now that it's gosh, cooked. Look at, I have to just show you. And it did turn into gravy like we were hoping. And look at that. The sausage, the green beans, the potatoes. Oh, it's delicious. Be very careful. It's very hot, but I am going to try this. And look at this. And I am going to leave it in the crock pot tonight for when guests come. And I think we're just gonna keep it simple and not dirty another plate. That's what the crock pot's all about. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Here we go. Wish you could taste this. It's hot. Oh my goodness, it is so good. You can get the smoked chicken apple. You can taste the apple, the potatoes. And this is gonna be great tonight. I think I'll make some garlic French bread. What do you think? Sounds good. 